Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel and I'm going to diverge for a short while from my main series called What Your Ignorant Teachers Could Not Tell You to present a series of videos on the zermelo franco axioms and they're called axioms but they're actually beliefs and in this first uh, video i'm going to discuss <clears throat> excuse me belief one or what they think of as axiom one now zermelo and franco were pretty much below average mathematicians and they came long before the group of those 40 French morons who called themselves Bourbaki and used their nonsense to formulate the foundations of modern mathematics. So what does the first belief say? It's called the belief of extensionality. It says, <coughs> excuse me, it says if X and Y have the same elements, then X equals to Y. And what you see right in the middle of the page there is the statement written in what's called FOL or first order logic. And I don't call it FOL or FOL, I call it FOOL because frankly, neither set nor element nor object nor any of the information that you're given has been defined beforehand. Now, let me read what this statement means for you. And this is what it means. It says, for all you, if you is a part of X and you is a part of Y, then X equals to Y. Or another way to read it is, for all you, if you is a part of X, uh, if u is a part of x, it is equivalent to u being a part of y. Therefore, x is equal to y. Now, you know, uh, over 2,300 years ago, in that famous book called The Elements, we have something called the common notion, and there are a few of them. But the first one says, Okay, what does that mean? That simply means that objects equal to the same thing are also equal to one another. It's pretty simple, isn't it? Well, now let me show you how this first belief is broken in so many ways. By the way, you may object to this if then, but it's exactly true. Uh, this if then is what the statement here means. So <clears throat> let's look at the next slide. <clears throat> if we go to a place like Math World, you'll see it has some preliminary definitions and you have to believe in all these things, okay? That upside down A means for all. This funny E here means is an element of, and this right arrow here means implies or suggests. Of course, in the nine beliefs, because there are nine of them, uh, this is an element of changes its meaning to minimal element in the belief or axiom of foundation. So the first belief suggests that if for any part u, u is part of some object x and another object y, then x and y are the same objects. So in formal set theory, neither element nor set are defined. You are expected to believe that these objects exist. For all U is a deception because it assumes the parts of the objects are all distinct and known beforehand. It is impossible to check all the infinitely many U parts. Okay, so somebody might say, oh, 
the axiom of infinity or the belief of infinity is not needed in ZFC. It is. <laughs> it's needed from the very first errant belief. The belief that <clears throat> uh, we have extensionality. And we'll see now a little bit more of what this means. Okay, so for certain parts, you is probably what the orangutan morons meant. In other words, a set of you parts. Hmm, circularity is the key feature of set theory. So circular reasoning works because, <coughs> excuse me, circular reasoning works. Hmm, I see. <coughs> now, why is it called the belief of extensionality? I suppose that the syphilitic retards known as a Bourbaki group imagined that objects are equal by extension. However, what these highly stupid academics overlooked is the fact that it is never possible to distinguish between an element and a set for both of these parts can be parts or holes. That should be or holes, not and holes. Or both, actually. <laughs> Choose whatever you want. Now, if you accept any of this rot known as ZFC to be well-formed knowledge, then you are incorrigibly stupid, and there is no hope for you. You will be a moron for the rest of your life. Join me again in the next exciting episode for Exposition of Belief 2. Now, here is a subset of all the fine morons who formed the Bourbaki group in France. Will died, I think, last year, August the 6th, at 92. Isn't it ironic how the dumbest get to live the longest? Hmm. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little presentation and that you will definitely join me again in the second exciting episode where I will discuss belief or axiom 2. This is a new calculus channel. I'm John Gabriel. Till next time, goodbye.